around the world and across the UK. This is BBC News. Okay. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> She's frozen. <laughs> Really? Really? Do something! <laughs> oh my god. Please talk. Say something. Oh my god. Oh, now she's on mute. <laughs> of our top stories uh, here uh, on the programme, and we've been monitoring. <laughs> okay, so hello everybody. Welcome back to the show. This was. BBC News Live earlier on, um, a bit of a BBC blooper for you guys there. These are the grown-ups in the mainstream media establishment. Um, I know it happens. It's live TV. Things happen. But one issue is, is the, the producers in the, in the gallery. One issue is the technical, te technical issues with the system, um, the microphone and everything. Another issue is the presenter. All angles, all different areas, they all messed up at the same time. It's absolutely beautiful. It's just a reminder. I thought I'd just show you this a few seconds as a reminder of why TV is dead and why we are the media. But it is important to talk about uh, the likes of the BBC because uh, they claim that uh, even if they don't have time to talk about all the other important issues in the news that happens across the country, because if you watch BBC News throughout the day, it's basically three or four items that they just repeat over and over again and they have their own narrative with that they don't really focus on the important issues that matter to you but they say well this uh, at least we are professional we, we are respected we are so credible and uh, we, we, are, we are not biased <laughs> people have no problem with bias people have, have a problem with lack of transparency if you're honest about your leanings like what we do on this channel then you provide the facts add your opinion let people make up their mind People will respect that. Some people will be watching you if they like your views. Others would go somewhere else. But don't lie to the public. This is what they do, these guys. It's not just the BBC. Because of the Royal Charter, they have their own restrictions that they don't actually even use. You even have Sky News and others who still claim to be neutral and impartial. And, and it makes no sense why you have a chunk of people, the liberal metropolitan types, who are so passionate defending these legacy media outlets because they know the rise of new media is going to end all of that nonsense the dinosaurs of this industry we are not going anywhere you guys are you guys at the like channel 4 news sky news all of you who are losing money every single hour and you wonder why you're losing money it's because you're lying to the public and you're outdated you're still living in the analog world you're refusing to adapt to the new age and you wonder why we are winning and you are losing. Thank you so much for watching. So I'll take a quick break from all the doom and gloomy stuff and show you something funny. I'm Maya Susi and we are the media.